Well, it is a fact of life that conservation has become an integral part of our economic development. And we've tried to do that by joining people and conservation. I mean, we can't imagine conservation by in and on itself, even when there are areas, national parks, for example, where we have uh, indeed marked the, uh, a boundary so that uh, protection is complete. But what we've tried to do, and I think that the growth of our economy shows it's been a successful strategy, is to bring about the communities into the conservation strategies so they feel not only empowered by the environment, but also benefit, benefited by it. And uh, I'm, I'm pleased to say that even when this has not been an easy task, and it continues to be a permanent challenge in trying to balance up sustainability with conservation, we do think it is possible, and Costa Rica may not be a good example for everyone, but has been making great strides in, in, in achieving economic progress with, with conservation. And probably the area where this is most evident is in tourism, where Costa Rica has become a world leader in, in promoting uh, sustainable uh, tourism uh, based on, on nature, which is one of our bigger strengths. Uh, one of them is water, for example, water management, the whole cycle, not only water in extracting it and, and bringing it to the people to drink and, or to produce, but also dealing with water once it has been used by, by humans or by uh, agriculture or whatever. We have an issue with water treatment that we need to, to handle. There is also a question of how we handle our, our oceans, for example. That's a big issue, not only in terms of enhancing further our protected marine areas, but also how to use the resources. We've just issued a decree uh, in Costa Rica ordering uh, tuna fisheries, for example, which is something that we had neglected for many decades. Now we have a new formula to uh, calculate the cost of licenses and limit the number of them so that uh, the country can ensure the, the population of tunas and at the same time use the, 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 the venue for, for the progress of, of our economy. So uh, those two are very good examples of many other challenges that we have. For example, in terms of deforestation, as you know, Costa Rica is the only country, one of the few countries in the world that has been able uh, to bring back forests after almost losing half of the country's uh, forests. Well, we have to even uh, take this even further in order to, to prevent uh, the destruction of our natural environment. This is a tremendous challenge considering the growth of our cities and, and the way in which lack of planning has been pushing us for so many years. Uh, but that's another challenge that they're willing with. Uh, and obviously waste in general, that's another issue. So yes, there is a list and I would say, uh, but that by no means we have everything under control. But we are, we are I think, conscientious of the fact that we have to be very responsible very creative, very innovative uh, with, with our natural conservation strategies. And again, that it is crucial that we convince people that conservation is not an enemy of development, that we can achieve both uh, with uh, greater uh, degrees of sustainability for all. Definitely the question of energy is something that the production of clean energies, uh, green energies, is something that we need to, to work very hard at in, in, in Central America. Costa Rica has been uh, making its contribution for a long, long time. You know, for the last two consecutive years, we've almost have produced uh, energy 100% renewable for almost, you know, 250 some days each year. And I think we are a good case of this, how this can be achieved. But the pressure of competitiveness has been very significant in many countries. And unfortunately, this means going back to electricity produced by coal or even gas, which being cleaner than many other energies is not as clean as solar or uh, air or uh, hydro energies. So I think that's, that's one. Uh, the other one uh, that I find important is to uh, ensure that we're able to keep the corridors that, as you know, has been a major concern for Central America since the 1980s. Corridors, natural corridors joining our national parks. Paseo Pantera was probably one of the most uh, known of these corridors where we could get the, the, the leopards, the jaguars, to, to move around Central America. Um, and, and again, the, the, the sea issue, I think it's very important. Central America is 500,000 square kilometers uh, in total in land, but it's quite larger 
at sea. And that is another frontier that we need to handle more wisely.